much I don't know. <laughs> One day you'll learn. Hey, I have that same shirt. Don't you and him shop at the same Target? I have that same mask, too. Damn it. <laughs> this happens far too often. Target's a great store. Nonetheless, though, uh, Adam is coming out here once again, uh, rocking the DDD. Uh, Fang, we just saw him on stream before, rocking the Ness. So now, this is a matchup that Adam has done, obviously, you know, before. He's played Syrup before. I don't know what their track record is. I feel like Syrup, either, he has, he either has a beat Syrup or he's taking a set off of him. I don't remember. Uh, right, Gordo yeah. once again gonna come through. He's he's so good at stringing his hits. I mean, really, Adamus, if not the best DDD, probably top two. He's so good at stringing every single hit. I like the way that Fang actually used that down B to actually Ooh. stop the Gordo. But you know what? You're gonna eat a nice, beautiful back air to the face. Yeah, dare I say that was a uh, a nice back air. Oh, Koopa. <laughs> I'm oh sorry. My God. Did I say that loud enough? Nice. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, we got it. I like, it, though, the way that he's always willing to throw himself off stage, too, and just try and get the edge guard. Fang playing that really passively. I felt like he, I was expecting to see the up air a little bit sooner. Good grab, though, by Adamus. Fair. Ooh, there we go. Nice use of the Gordo upwards right there, trying to mess up the vertical recovery of Ness. And again, you know, if you're Fang, you're definitely. Uh, you know, trying to flirt on the fly. Nice catch with the up smash right there. Adam is opening up a 3-1 lead here. All right, up air. Oh my god, close. Ooh, and that back air once again. Yeah, dare I say it's nice. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> okay, and like you mentioned, you know, King Dede definitely having tools uh, in certain matchups. I don't think they'll think this is a bad matchup for him, for sure. Oh, no. Oh my god, I don't think Fang was expecting that right onto the stage. That's <laughs> gonna put him in a super bad position. Oh my god, Animus was ready with that grab. All right, nice roll away right there, and a nice catch with the back here. That move is so satisfying to hit with. Like, I, it's just, it sounds, the, the bass sound is so good. What Fang is doing really well is he's avoiding all of these inhales really, really well. I think it's putting Animus in kind of like that. He's gotta think a little bit more when he engages. Right, yeah, no, I agree for sure. Nice snare out. I do think Sean is playing it a little too slow, though. I feel like he's got to match the speed that he's kind of dealing with here. Going to free fall. Going to go safely back to ledge. I feel like there's only so much you can do, especially when you're probably not having much matchup you know, uh, experience here. Because like, like we mentioned, Adamus has fought Ness's, you know, time and time again. Uh... Right? Oh, my Whoa. God. Gordo coming in. Always has the last lap. Back throw is going to take it. And we got a really uh, enraged Ness here. And that Gordo is <laughs> not kill quite yet. He's got some percentage on the board, but maybe that one will. Yeah, that was nice stuff there from Adam Eskin. In firm control of the game at, you know, at all times. So, and like you mentioned, you know, King DVD definitely having tools to make, uh, you know, to not be a bottom tier character. I don't think King DVD is the worst character in the game. I just want to go out and say that. Who do you think is? Jeez, I don't know. It's hard. Like, you think it's a heavy? No, I don't think so. Because the heavies are. I think heavies are so good in this. Because the heavies are cheat. The heavies are cheating. Yes. They're not cheating. Yeah, they're cheating. Just say that. But like, they cheating. also have you know they also have tools to work with. Like, I don't know, Jigglypuff. I still don't think is that great. But like, I don't want to plant my flag in the sand in that argument because somebody will get mad at me on Twitter. Someone, someone's gonna come after you on Twitter just for that statement. I don't know. Maybe it's Little Mac. I don't know. Little Mac? I don't know. Peanut says otherwise. Or Peabnut. Is it Peabnut or Peanut? No, Peabnut and Peanut are two totally different Sorry, people, to my knowledge. My, my knowledge. I, trust me, I thought the same thing, too. So, Anyway, moving on here. Adam has one uh -oh. game on uh, Fang, but Fang looking to answer back. Uh-oh, oh. rolls right into the Gordo, right into the back air. And we just saw all that percentage that Fang worked so hard to get just fire right back at him, but he's playing this super aggressive now. Uh, that Gordo. I, I always feel like people underestimate how long that stays out. Oh, <laughs> good roll out of the I way. I miss the Waddle Dees. Me too. I feel like Waddle Dashing would have been the sickest thing in this game. Oh, Ooh. Gordo betrays the king. Yeah. G Gordo, Gordo is constantly in the top 10 of the anime betrayal. Oh See my ya. God. Sheesh. Fang. <laughs> Fang, it's been less than a minute. Relax. Again, such is the life of King Deity sometimes, I feel like. Sometimes I feel you're either winning by a lot or you're losing by a lot. Yeah, that's true. All right, 
Once again, Fang now backing up. He's realizing, all right, I have a pretty stable lead. This is what he wants, so I feel like he should have just camped down on that platform, thrown a couple PK fires, see where it would have gotten him. But nice Nair out by Adamisk. I love DDD Nair. I think DDD Nair is a great combo breaker. Yeah, no, it's a great, it's one of his best moves, without a doubt, so. Once again, though, Adamisk is really waiting for Fang to make a move. And these Oh, oh. no way, bro. Oh, the, the floppy fish, as I like to call it. Not yeah, going to make dead. it. And just like that, he essentially might as well be at zero. 51% is nothing for King Dede. Oh, yeah. Absolutely nothing. He needs one of those crazy good strings that we saw in the beginning. Yeah, again, that's something Ness can get in spades against, you know, bigger characters. No way, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Come no, on. I was about to say. <laughs> Ooh, nice, nice fair, meet him up in there. He did take a Gordo hit, which isn't exactly favorable. Oh God, Fang, no, this is not how you want to go out. Oh, nope. good grab. Gonna try and toss him into the Gordo. That was smart by Adamus, but PK fire. All right, gonna roll away. Ooh, the nice backer back will catch right there though. Nice catch with the fair. Adamus might only have a couple of jumps left. Wow, good just able catch, to get back. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, he was looking for that, that down B. Oh God, that was so Yep, hardest character to kill off the top in the game. Uh, at that higher percent, though, you will die, so. <laughs> Reggie, Reggie's a, Reggie's a hoot, bro. <laughs> Reggie's so funny. I love, I love Reggie. All right, excellent stuff right there from Fang. Again, great response. You know, you love to see that after getting kind of shaklackled, uh, you know, that first game, so. See, they're both kind of laughing about Fang it. Fang always, like, brings out a surprise for me as a player. I don't know. I just feel like he's so talented on the mic, off the mic, playing this game. Look, yeah. I mean, look at the look at the, look at at the the swag on this man. He's he's playing with his fanny pack on. This dude does not care. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine that's comfortable. Maybe. Maybe it's comforting. As a non-fanny pack wearer, I, I would understand. Oh, God. Good, <laughs> good air dodge to get out of there because that was looking really scary, Koopa. <laughs> yeah, that was some, some scary stuff. Alright, up there gonna clip, yeah. Ooh, nice parry on the back air though. So let's see what adjustments Adamus can make. Again, obviously, the easiest thing to do is just not get opened up for a million damage. Alright, not doing a pretty good job. Woo! God, these Gordos, such a menace off stage. Now he's stuck between a rock and a hard place! <laughs> yeah, definitely had to choose between uh, you know, damage or death right there. The down tilt, the most disrespectful move in the game but still so funny to look at. We'll take that stock there for Adamus. All right, nice roll in, roll out. You know what? If it works, we got the plenty of bakery here. You gotta watch oh! them. These air dodges from Fang though, they're really working out for him, but Adamus really, he's just chasing you across the stage, bro. Yeah, listen, when you have multiple jumps, might as well use them. Oh Good God, up. nice roll. And the no. floppy fish. Oh my god. I feel like it's a yeah. repeat of game number two, except Clomps the you. other way. All right. So, like you mentioned, kind of a repeat, of, you know, a trading of roles right there. It was Fang that had a three stocks to one lead in the last game. Now, Adamus was a three stocks to one lead in this game. So, we'll see what adjustments Fang can make. But Adamus looks like he's cracked a code right now. Yeah, for sure. He's really just following up every option that Fang throws out. With either a Gordo or a back air, really. I mean, I've seen Adamus throw a lot of inhales in his lifetime, and he's not really doing it unsafely like he was doing previously, like at cross up. No, so, man, come on. Don't do it. Ah! He's just a commentator. <laughs> 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 I was scared. That would have definitely been a meta view moment at that point. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Good. fair by Adamus, and this could be even a three stock. Don't do it. He's, he's just so, <laughs> why did you do that to he's Sean? He's so nice. Yeah, like, don't do that. Oh my god, Gordo might just finish it up for him. Nair out. Forward oh. throw. From deep, okay, no, the Nair's not gonna- Oh uh, my god. Hey, and that back air's gonna seal it. I feel like Adamus is getting a little too antsy on the kill right there. Yeah, at this point, it's just a math equation, though. He has two stocks, Fang has one. So you can be maybe a little bit reckless right now, but again, it is Ness. This character can touch you, and you can eat a lot of, you know, eat 70, 80% easy, so. I'm surprised don't want to we be played on PS2 this entire game, Sean. Or Koopa, commentator people. <laughs> That's me. I'm a commentator person. I mean, Sean's playing his spacing game really well. I wish we were seeing this in the first two stocks, because really. 
there from across the way. Again, all he has to do is just kind of breathe on Ness, and this is going to be curtains. Nair out, though. Fang is doing such a good job, though. Like, really? Oh, God. Yeah, that was a song. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, he was doing that the entire set. I just feel like it was inconsistent. 185 on Ness, and that 198 is going to take it out. And that's going to be winner's quarters going on over to the Dark Order's very own Atomus. Didn't they give him a shout out for Summit? I did. That's crazy. I did. No, they did. Oh, they Dark did, Order. yeah. <laughs> you that was good? Weird. No, I don't. No, I'm not. No, that was crazy. That like, was crazy. I'd love to see Summit crossovers. Aaron it, it, got some baseball guy and like. <laughs> yeah, that was that, that was so weird. <laughs> There's so much crossover. That I think that's leveled up the Summit meta. Which celebrity can you get to endorse you to go to Summit? I gotta who? I gotta pull out my bag of tricks. I have a couple cool Twitter followers that who I can has, see. Who has who has the uh, who has the stones to pay for a $100 cameo to endorse their uh, their favorite player for Summit? 